you may now begin your presentation we stand before you as a team of 87 members having contributed 59000 hours this is not just our effort but to make your legacy of countless drops of blood sweat and tears we are the natus ramtus and we present our story it is humbling to inform you that after 3 years project bavarchi is now sustainable 63 former victims of substance abuse have found meaning in the sphere of entrepreneurship with our food canteens now transformed into cafeterias now embarking on yet another journey on root sustainability we present to you the most ambitious endeavor of inactus ramjes project arogya in our nation arogya referring to the state of being disease free aims to make quality healthcare affordable and accessible to rural and peri urban areas through the primary healthcare initiatives of arogya health center and teleswasthya coming on to the first primary healthcare initiative the arogya health center this is where our journey began in january 2017 in the village of hapur near the national capital region 4500 people were bereft of quality medical facilities traveling over 10 kilometers to reach their nearest health center a fourth of its population was chronically diseased lacking medical diagnosis and the minimum expenditure on healthcare was at least 800 rupees addressing this need the three components of a pharmacy an opd unit and a collection center were established under the arogya health center set in accordance with the guidelines of the nabh a patient could now attain optimum services at a reasonable price without having to travel extensive miles owing to a well established nexus between pharmacies and medical practitioners we realized that profitability superseded health concerns and the law of prescribing and dispensing only generic medicines was not followed this led us to initiate the first component under the health center the arogya pharmacy which established a retail of generic medicines certified by the cdsco with the same chemical composition as branded medicines generic medicines cost up to 60% lower than their branded counterparts due to an elimination of brand the second component the arogya opd unit was established soon after seven doctors including a general physician cardiologist and a pediatrician came on board providing consultation to the patients at nominal rates breaking the profit nexus on medicines these doctors became true flag bearers of change complementing the arogya opd unit the third component the arogya collection unit was set up in collaboration with mahavir international providing quality diagnostics at rates 40% lower than commercial labs as a part of our preventive healthcare initiatives community development sessions on nutrition menstrual hygiene and pregnancy care were regularly held at the center to educate the masses nukkar natak slogan hearing and street art became attractive channels for effective dissemination of information through our efforts in hapur in 8 months we saw a 70% decline in monthly household medical expenditure realizing that hapur was not the only place that suffered from such poor healthcare conditions we carried out comprehensive surveys in numerous parts of the country and incepted the arogya health index the index was set in tandem with the parameters of the who such as mortality rate child immunization and chronic diseases analyzing need prior our intervention and impact post our intervention with over 25000 respondents the index provided key insights into the most pressing health issues faced by these demographics learning from the success of our first arogya health center in hapur and guided by the findings of the arogya health index we decided to replicate our model after a run of 2 and a half years we are now operating a chain of 24 arogya health centers in delhi ncr in the year 2018 19 lakh has been generated across our 24 health centers 3 lakh people have been impacted through accessible health services 14 lakh rupees have been saved on medical expenditure per center 56000 children are now fully vaccinated and finally 25000 people 
have been educated on medical well being all these advancements would not have been possible without our beneficiaries one health center engages three beneficiaries a registered pharmacist a lab technician and a manager firstly the pharmacist who is provided a micro loan of up to rupees 70000 to set up operations at an interest rate of 1% per month this is done in support from our partners at IFL the lab technician undergoes a specially designed certificate course at the NSDC equipping him with all the necessary skills to handle his role additionally a manager is appointed from the local community who mobilizes community development sessions and supervises the health center on an average each arogya health center generates a monthly revenue of rupees 67000 After deducting the requisite costs of the pharmacy and the collection center, the total profit is then distributed amongst the entrepreneurs based on their job profile. Once unemployed and disengaged, our 65 beneficiaries now have a steady livelihood. On an average, the pharmacist earns rupees twenty-three thousand per month. The lab technician rupees ten thousand per month. Moreover, the manager earns a monthly salary of rupees eight thousand. In twelve months. An Arogya Health Centre attains complete sustainability. Degree तो थी, लेकिन नौकरी के लिए मैं इधर उधर भटकता था। तो रामजस रामजस कॉलेज के बच्चे आए और Arogya के विषय में मुझे बताएं। उसके वजह से मैंने बीजेस शुरू किया, कुछ आइडिया दिया उन लोगों ने, जिससे उसके वजह से मैं बीस एकीस हजार रुपए कमा लेता हूँ। Heights were touched by the Arogya Health Centres in Delhi and CR. but we knew that it wasn't about how far we had come but about how far we were willing to go we knew that there was a bigger task at hand a bigger need 27% deaths in 283 remote locations in india still occur due to unavailability of medical facilities as they long for a doctor with this we became sure to develop our second initiative under primary health care tele swasthya Our Pan India motive, which kick-started in Jan 2018 in Nagi district near the Indo-Pak border, Tele Swasthya aims at providing affordable and accessible quality primary healthcare in remote areas through digital media. In Nagi, 3,500 people who barely earned incomes of rupees 150 per day were deprived of medical facilities, with six annual casualties. resulting from failed transit systems traveling 30 kilometers to the nearest health center affordable and accessible healthcare was a pipe dream for them realizing this dire need tele swasthya established three components tele opd tele diagnostics and a tele dispensary falling in line with the government's initiative of digital india this enabled us to bridge the gap between patients and medical practitioners under tele opd patients were digitally connected to doctors from our partner hospitals using our tele consultation software designed and customized in collaboration with india's leading telemedicine provider medtel the software offered the facilities of one on one consultation digital prescription and real time report study to complement tele opd tele diagnostics was introduced radio diagnostics such as ecg and ultrasound could be conducted in real time The results were digitally transmitted to the doctor who provided diagnosis. The test report was then delivered to the patient via SMS. In addition to these services, a tele dispensary was started to facilitate the provision of medicines post consultation. Through our efforts in Nagi, in just four months, we saw a staggering 60% increase in the number of people availing primary health care. Learning from the success of our first tele swasthya center in Nagi. I am guided by the precedence of the Arogya Health Index. This year, Delhi Swasth has expanded to five more states of Jammu Kashmir, Punjab, West Bengal, Himachal, and Uttar Pradesh. One Delhi Swasth Centre has two beneficiaries: a nurse who is responsible for facilitating the consultation and conducting the diagnostic tests, and a pharmacist. Skilled under the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. The nurse and the pharmacist obtain micro loans of rupees seventy thousand and fifty thousand, respectively, at nominal interest rates from rural financing institutions. 
the average monthly revenue of each teleswasthya center is rupees 85000 after deducting the requisite cost of tele opd tele diagnostics and the tele dispensary the total profit is distributed amongst the entrepreneurs based on their job profile till date we have been able to engage 12 beneficiaries across six states on an average the nurse earns rupees 18000 per month while the pharmacist earns rupees 15000 per month in 15 months a tele swasthya center attains complete sustainability tele swasthya has resulted in saving 36 lakh worth of medical expenditure 12 lakh rupees on travel expenditure through remote patient monitoring we have provided 7000 diagnoses and by critical intervention during odd hours we have catered to 118 patients मुझे दवाई लेने दूर नहीं जानी पड़े दवाई के पैसे बचने के कारण मेरी बेटी सब आर वे हेड इज टू कनेक्ट दी एक्सिस्टिंग ट्वेंटी फोर आर ओ के हेल्थ सेंटर इन डेली एन सी आर टू सेकेंडरी हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर्स फोर डिग्री एक्सपैंडिंग रीच ऑफ आर टेली स्वास्थ्य सर्विसेज Ladies and gentlemen, in recognition of our efforts, we were recently felicitated by the Honorable Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshvardhan. Finally, Project Arogya has cemented its niche in primary healthcare. We believe, and we have done it. We are in that the strongest, and this has been our story. <laughs> Judges, please join me in thanking Inactus Ramjas for their presentation and hard work. We will now begin the question and answer session. Only judges may ask questions. Please raise your hand, and we will get you a microphone. am i audible yeah hi my name is sameer uh in your need assessment you talk about 85% of the phcs uh dysfunctional right even though they are supported by the government of india and we talk about more than 30000 chcs and phcs that exist in india uh what is your assessment of why these are dysfunctional uh and not able to really provide the healthcare that the communities need that you are trying to serve and in that context what is your financial model that would allow you to scale up and fill the gap that dcscs and uh, pscs are not able to provide uh, thank you for your question sir i'll be taking that up so sir i'll be taking the example of delhi um as proposed by the delhi government there should have been 1000 mohalla clinics in the city but as per the statement released by the delhi government only about 188 are functional and uh, where we differ in our model is basically that arogya has an entrepreneurial model whereas the uh, whereas the other mohalla clinics which is other primary healthcare providers they run on a salary based model or on a charitable basis but it is because of our entrepreneurial model which gives the beneficiary a share in the profit which is acting as a uh, acting as an incentive for him to work and uh, that is how we see it an it as an opportunity to scale up So, answering the second part of the question, Arogya follows a entrepreneurial model, as we mentioned. So, uh, there are two parts to our um, Arogya Health Center. One is the pharmacy, and one is the collection unit. Uh, they both earn separate revenues, and out of those revenues, after the costs have been deducted, the revenue is uh, the revenue which remains is basically the profit, and then that is given to the pharmacist, who is primarily the loan bearer, and he takes uh, the remaining profit out of the pharmacy. and the lab technician takes a share of the collection center after the costs have been deducted and the major costs that have been paid to that have to be paid to mahavi international have been done yeah i just like to understand what was the basis of selection of hapur for your arogya and then you went to nagi for the tellis what was the basis thank you so much for your question sir uh, so basically one of our previous projects project aradga was already existing in hapur and understanding that people there had dire a uh, need for healthcare we decided to take up arogya anyway in actus ramjas has al always had a flair of uh, taking up projects in different fields and having the experience of 8 years 
we decided that healthcare was one field that we wanted to venture into and having a base in Hapur for our previous project allowed us to do the same. And expanding to Nagi, in fact, we got a collaboration with the border security force after a lot of mails, in fact, and that helped us to establish our center in Nagi. Hi, I have a question. Actually, two questions. One, uh, what is the framework you have in place to measure the outcomes? You know, you mentioned a number of outcomes in your presentation and the document that you provided us. Maybe if you can just talk to us about what are you guys doing in terms of measuring outcomes and making sure they're reliable. And second, where do you go from here? What's the plan? What are you going to do next? Uh, Sir, in order to measure the outcomes, we have uh, two things. Uh, the Arogya Health Index being one, which has two parts. The Arogya Health Need Assessment Index and the Arogya Health Impact Index. So after we carry out the need assessment, we are also uh, we also have to carry out the impact index. So whoever we surveyed in our need assessment, we survey them again on a over a period of sixty days and judge what has been the uh, growth in their healthcare uh, health overall well being basically. The Arogya Health Impact Index has ten parameters ranging from accessibility of healthcare to affordability of healthcare, quality of healthcare, uh, waterborne diseases, airborne diseases, skinborne diseases, and that's how we measure our impact. In terms of finances, we uh, measure the impact in terms of the re increase in revenue, increase in profit, uh, and uh, decrease in costs. Uh, sir, uh, answering uh, your second question, so sir. Till now, Project Arogya has ventured into the field of primary healthcare. From here on, what we plan to do is to connect our primary healthcare centers, the Arogya health centers, to secondary healthcare providers, such as polyclinics, nursing homes and hospitals. And this will be done through a referral program, through an Arogya membership card, so that all the patients who come to our primary healthcare service uh, centers also get access to wholesome secondary healthcare and tertiary healthcare services. And so, talking about teleswasthya, once our current uh, centers which are on route sustainability uh, are completely sustainable, we will be venturing into more states. So I am sorry your time has now expired. Judges, please join me in thanking Inatis Ram just for their presentation and hard work.